Lululemon Bliss Feel Run. First impressions, I'm shocked. Shocked at how underwhelming these shoes are. These are not designed for me. These are supposed to be designed for women, whatever that means. But as a runner and a running shoe designer, I wanted to give my first impression, so I bought a pair. And I have to say, these are just kind of like boring. Now, this is obviously not the most interesting colorway. I bought you know, the only colorway that would fit me. Uh, these are still probably maybe quarter size, maybe half size too small. But first impressions are not great. The box, for one, is just you know, pretty basic, but you know, let's leave that alone. But out of the box, you know, these shoes themselves, to me, don't speak like a premium Lululemon product. To me, they don't even speak like a running shoe. And I think that that's part of the issue. This is supposed to be a running shoe. This is a $200 running shoe. I always consider design from a couple different, you know, scales, if you will, or points of view. And the most important, I think, is first from far away. How does a shoe look on the shelf when that's 20, 25 feet away? What makes you want to go over and pick it up? You know, usually that's something to do with the stance. It could be the graphical color blocking. It could be something to do with the branding. But here, there's nothing. If I didn't know better, if I saw this on the shelf, I would think it's a no-name brand or maybe like a discount payless kind of, you know, running shoe, if you will. You know, there's just nothing that would draw me towards it. And again, not the best colorway, but still, that doesn't matter. White on white, you know, you can still do some awesome stuff with. The next scale that's always really important from a design point of view is that five, six feet away scale. So when you're standing in front of the shoe shelf, what makes you want to go over and pick it up? And again, here, it's all about materialization. It's all about details. It could be something a little bit reflective. It could be a logo. Um, in these, there's nothing. You know, you have a really basic engineered mesh. Nike was doing this maybe 10 years ago. And to me, that's what this looks like. It looks like a 10 year old design. You know, the midsole is one piece. You have one piece of pretty basic EVA. There's some little stability pieces over here, some TPR, or TPU, something like that. But that's about it. You have a really, you know, simple, basic oval NK lace. You have kind of a Hoka swallowtail on the collar construction, kind of a Vaporfly uh, thin tongue. Um, but you know, there's nothing really more. The logo treatment is pretty basic, screen print and embossed, maybe reflective on the heel. There's nothing on the toe, uh, nothing on the tongue, nothing on the quarter, nothing on the medial side. Even the outsole looks to me kind of like an off the shelf outsole. One piece of rubber, a couple different pods, um, and one logo. You know, there's no visible technology. There's obviously, you know, no carbon fiber plate. Um, you know, there isn't a lot to kind of really make you want to pick it up. And, you know, when you do pick it up, I think for me that that's the biggest disappointment is that in hand, these are not great. They're talking all about, you know, feel and comfort and fit and whatever. But, you know, if I pick this up, I wouldn't want to try it on. You know, a lot of shoes now have different materials on the midsole, whether it's, you know, a TPU or a TPE kind of foam replacing the EVA that feels really soft, really squishy, or even could be a nitro infused, um, super critical EVA like Puma is using that when you pick it up, think, oh, wow, this is really light. This is like, this is awesome. This seems pretty basic. And this shoe is actually, you know, relatively heavy. You know, obviously all that rubber doesn't help. But again, you know, all the details with this TPU no-so on the upper, um, you know, the pretty simple engineered mesh, you know, it doesn't, to me, say that, oh, I want to put this on. And, you know, and I know Lululemon knows details. You know, they have so many little details in all of their products, whether it's the shirts that, you know, on the inside hem have some saying like, you know, breathe easy or whatever. You know, this shoe would be a perfect opportunity for that kind of stuff to print in the sock liner, you know, underneath the tongue, you know, on the collar lining. But... There's none of that. You know, I just don't really see anything kind of compelling from a design perspective. From a performance perspective, you know, I'm gonna reserve my full judgment until I try these on and maybe, you know, go for a little run. As mentioned, they're a little bit too small. But, you know, first impression on the foot, again, not great, pretty underwhelming, pretty boring. These have a really big drop. So that's from heel to toe. It's supposed to be, I think, nine and a half millimeters. And most running shoes are anywhere from, you know, four on the more minimal side to maybe eight. And there's a few that are nine and 10. But on foot, it just feels kind of thick, kind of heavy. You know, it doesn't really feel like a running shoe. You know, if they're talking about fit, I would have expected at the very least, you know, some interesting materials and construction. But as mentioned, this is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You know, they could have used, you know, memory foam. I know Skechers does that on some of their, you know, um, you know, more comfortable um, models. Um, they could have done something on the sock liner, but you know, even then, again, pretty simple. Single piece of EVA. There's no pour on uh, PU kind of foams they could have used on the bottom. They could have had some texture on the top liner. Even a different kind of mesh goes a long way. Just by sometimes changing the top liner mesh, you can give a shoe a totally different feel. But you know, I don't see anything there. 
Underneath the sock liner, you see it's a pretty basic strobel construction. So again, could have had opportunity for some, you know, softer, you know, material that would give you that on foot impression of that, you know, bliss, if you will. But, you know, I have to say kind of all in as a runner and running shoe designer, I was expecting a lot from Lululemon footwear. You know, they've been working on this, I know for a long time, but this is pretty disappointing. So for me, this is a miss. I'm gonna try this on, I'll report back with some, you know, kind of more running review related uh, comments. But, you know, I have to say for now, these are obviously, you know, going back to the store after I try them out.